So I'm out here with some friends. I'm at Lincoln Airport. We're in between storms, so it's a little bit windy, but it's a beautiful day. The two friends back there, both retired. Retired 05 and retired 06. The 06 was an Intel officer. Now he has his AMP license and he's doing the annual on my friend who flies for UPS, fellow YouTube pilot. And he has a small couple of planes and this one's for his daughter. So I wanted to take the time thinking about his daughter, thinking about all these things about women. We are amazing people. And there's this saying that, oh, women, as women, we can have it all. And I agree to that to a certain extent. We can have it all, but we have to make sure the timing is right. You can be the career person and then be the family person, but you have to make sure the timing is right. To do it all at one time, it's incredibly difficult. So difficult. And when you choose these things, you know that there has to be pros and cons to it. So for me, as a mom, when I first started off, I was in the military, doing my career, flying, flying all these aircraft. When I decided with my husband to have a child, I knew once he was born, that more of the focus would be on him. And I would have to make decisions based on him. And I knew that maybe if assignment came up, I wouldn't take it because of him. And I knew that that might force me to separate or retire because of him. And I was okay with that because I planned ahead and mentally I knew, okay, if that happens, this is the, this is the avenue I will take. Once I retired, there was nothing better for me than to wake up in the morning when he started kindergarten, get him dressed and walk him to school as a mom. That was awesome. I got to talk with him. I got to walk with him and still take him to school to this day. But now as he's getting older, and we've also introduced my daughter in through adoption, who's 18 months younger. As they're getting older, now I could start picking back up on another career. When I retired, I became a personal trainer, motivational speaker, but now I could start increasing that and increasing that side of the business. So over time, over 20 something years, yeah, I'm having it all, but I have to pick and choose when it's appropriate. And as women who want to be mothers, who need to be caregivers for older parents or for their children, you have to look at those timings. And we do that well. So I want you to do that well. And I don't want you to be remiss or regretful about the decisions you make because you planned ahead about it. It's not going to be easy, I'll tell you. There are some times it is chaos control. But as long as you're proactive, it will be chaos control instead of control chaos. That's for sure. But we could do that. And as women, I applaud you for those who are doing it and who are trying to do it. And for those who are still unsure, whiteboard it out, write it down, look at it, and then come to the grips of the reality and be honest with yourself about what you want. If you don't want to have a family, that's okay. If you want to wait till you're older, understand that you may not be able to have kids, but adoption is a great, alternative. We've done it. It is definitely an experience. And it's, and it's great to be able to give an opportunity to someone that may not have had that opportunity. To have your own kids is great. And as women, we get to choose that. So let's go. Whiteboard, think about it, manage it, organize it. And then over the lifetime, you can have it all.